suspiciously loud for a cemetery at night. Robbers, none worth their salt would have left this. Louis de Corentin died on the day of Saint Zoethem's remembrance. Louis de Corentin fresh, funeral died on the day of Saint Zoethem's remembrance. Here lies Margot de Corentin. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Noises clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. See how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some dwarf. Disgusting. Indeed. Better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrate, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt! And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times! Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? 
Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The decorant towns. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! They murdered you for your debts! I had nothing to do with it! Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! No, wait. If you truly must do this, then please, at the least, deposit me somewhere pleasant. All the same to me. Where do you want to go? Take me to my mother's grave. It's in the old cemetery just outside the city walls. A lovely spot, almost on the lake shore. The flora there, it's extraordinary, really. Hmm, extraordinary flora. Where is it exactly? Beneath the outspread arms of a chestnut. The tombstone bears my mother's name. Micheline Belrose. To think I failed to heed her when she warned me about that lout. Ah. Peace at last. Sir Conan of Bray End died of overtitillation while witnessing an act of unicorn apositisphelia. Interesting, but not what I'm looking for. Micheline Belrose. This is it. Well, that's done. Shoot the beast, you a spy! Tell the commander! Uh. Beast! My legs! I, I, I can't. We have legs. Margot's ashes, just like you wanted. Louis, you there? Should have known he'd stand me up. 
All right, if that's how you want to play it. Please, put me back. Yes, I'm a fraud. I lied to you. I've no notion where the cards are, but, but I, I shall think of something. Just wait. Got it. A swordsmith. Trent has the name. I skinned him at Gwent once, but he had no coin, so he promised me the pride of his collection, a lovely blade, finely fashioned. I passed on before I could get it, but you could collect it in my stead. Just tell him Louis de Corentin sent you. The dead Louis de Corentin? Hmm, hmm, that could indeed prove problematic. But if... I know. The man's a gambler, inveterate. His wife forced him to seek help, a hypnosis or some such. She believes Trenta no longer touches cards, would wager her virtue on it. Were she to learn he still plays Gwent, well, he'd be in a deep doodle Hmm, thanks. Business at the cemetery. I'm a witcher. Raids haunt your catacombs. Ah, so it's true what old Lanzano said about the racket at the cemetery. I thought it grave robbers, perhaps, but wraiths? Have you? Ah. Took care of them. This Lanzano, think he might pay me for solving his problem? Oh, that's more than certain. Look for him at the clever clocks. Thanks. to collect Louis de Quarantin's sword. Ha! <laughs> That's rich. De Quarantin's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, in fact, till your wife helped you kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah! Oh, the bum poke! Yeah. Here I thought I might hang it over the mantle again, with Louis gnawing radishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and dry. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? What about the wife? Not afraid she'll... In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her sister in Belhaven. So, shall we play? No thanks. Think I'll pass this time. Bam, watch. But a no's a no. I'll not insist nor beg. Your loss. Take care now.
Dark send the whip await those running riot. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flaunt its writ and brought Why it is dearer? Quenches are dearer. So is, is that a witch murder button? Witcher, please, sir. Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. Took care of it. Truly? The howling's gone? For good? Wonderful! Ah, to sleep in my own bed again, at long last! But... But... What was it? Some ancient filth entombed deep in the catacombs. Yeah, really tough, demanding fight. Barely made it out alive. Is it your codex? Forbids you from revealing the details? For the best, I dare say. There's a small premium for you. You've earned it. Oh! 